What's up guys? My name is Alexis and welcome back to the Beautiful Chaos YouTube channel. For today's video, I have such a fun one for you guys. It is another Dollar Tree DIY craft type video. Um, so like I just said, everything for this craft did come from Dollar Tree, which is super great because that means it's affordable, it's easy, you know, and pretty much anyone is going to be able to do this. So if you do end up recreating this, tag me on Instagram, that'll be in the comments. <clears throat> but I'm going to show you guys what we're making today. It is this super cute little cauldron with pearls and a hidden Mickey because it's me. And why wouldn't we do a hidden Mickey? And then there's just some tool in here, but yeah, let's get into the video and I'll show you guys how I made it. All right, so I am using these mini cauldrons from Dollar Tree. I'm actually only going to be showing you guys one, but I had two out for some reason. And these pearls are also from Dollar Tree. There were a few different sizes in there. I think they came all in the same pack, but I'm not positive. Uh, but definitely Dollar Tree and there's my hot glue gun. Random zoom in there, sorry. But once my hot glue gun is all heated up here in a second, we can start. So I am just taking my hot glue gun and putting a pretty good amount of hot glue, actually. These pearls are bigger than they look. Um, and then I'm just taking whatever size, this is the smaller one here, and placing it into the hot glue. So super, super simple, but it is kind of tedious. It does take a while. But there are two, and here's a sped up clip for you. So you'll see I just did it all the way around the top of that cauldron. And there is that one you see that's a little bit lower, but that's fine because we're going to fill in some more bubbles. Which again, I'm just laying down more hot glue and pressing in those pearls. And I just kind of did this randomly. Um, if you want to make a design with them, go ahead. But I thought it was fun just to randomly place them. I did get quite a few hot glue strings in this project, but that's okay, because I can clean them up later. I did also play around with some of the bigger pearl sizes. There was that really small one that's around the top for the most part, and then there's a medium one and a really big one. So it was kind of fun just to play with all of those. Here I have to refill my glue stick, so I'm gonna pop that in. And keep working. Is it this one? You'll see here in a minute that I did decide to do a hidden Mickey which I think is what I'm doing right here. Yeah. So there's the, I took the biggest one and then, nope, not that one. It'll be this next one, sorry guys. So right where I just pointed is where we're gonna put that. Um, so again, more hot glue and generous amount for that bigger pearl. There it is. And then I'm just gonna put some more hot glue right above it so that I can put in the two smaller ones for the ears. 
There's one. There's two. And hey, we have a super cute little hidden Mickey now. And I did decide to add a couple more. But this is totally up to you guys if you decide to make this. Um, just have fun playing around with the placement of everything. Oh, loose pearl. No, it did get stuck to my hot glue gun. So I just left it there. Luckily it didn't melt. So I was able to get it off. These things happen. There is that. I think this turned out so cute. And now we're going to play with tool. This part would be optional, but I have a ton of tool from other projects. So I grabbed some pink and some white and whatever, just so it matched the theme that I was going for. Uh, but I'm just cutting off a strip of this. I don't know how wide. I just kind of eyeballed it, honestly. But I cut off a strip of this white and then in one of the pinks. I was going to do three colors but decided to do just the two. So there's that one. And here's the second color which is super cute. I love it. I'm a pink girl if you guys haven't quite figured that out yet. And there's the second one. And like I said, I was going to use this one as well, but I... You can see I kind of mess with it and just don't have the patience to untangle it. So we're going to work with what we have here. And I'm not really sure what I was <laughs> going for with this, but I knew I wanted the tool to look kind of like flames coming out of the cauldron, if that makes sense. So I'm just kind of layering the two colors. And then you'll see me just kind of mess around with placement. And here I tried to do a bow that didn't really work. Yeah, didn't really work too well. And then I tried to do like a normal bow, like I would do for ears. And that's actually super cute. I did like that, but not quite the look we were going for for this. So I decided just to put, put that little pocket of tool that I made in the cauldron, fluff it out a little bit, and you will see me make some cuts here and like just like fluff it out a little bit. And again, this is totally up to you as to how you want to do this part, if you want to do it at all. I just thought it would be a nice way to bring some color in. Since I am doing that pink and silvery kind of theme for my Halloween decorations this year. And here you're going to see me play around with it just a little bit more. And then decide to go in and make a few more little cuts. Pulling it apart, making it look a little more 
flame-like, I guess you could say. I don't know. And the nice thing about working with tool is it does rip really easily once you already have a cut in it. So that was nice. I just kind of tore some more. And there it is. I think this turned out so cute. Here's my little tiered tray that I'm working on for Halloween. The tray itself did come from Target. Um, and then most everything else is from Dollar Tree on there. But yeah. And that is that. How easy. And so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like I said earlier, tag me on Instagram if you end up making something similar. I would love to see it. Uh, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Like I said, that'll be down below. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!